I feel so cute. Like, I feel so cute. Hey wonderful people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Caddy. If you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I install this hair. I literally got this wig time ago, I can't even remember where I got it from, but I'm gonna check and I'll put it in the link down below. So this is literally like a pixie cut um, water wave wig. Guys, I actually love this hair i love the curls on this hair and it's just so cute so i'm gonna show you guys how i installed this wig and also how i achieved my makeup or should i say how i did my makeup so yeah so if you guys want to know how i did all of this all of this make sure you keep watching so guys today i'll be using the bald cap method and i've done this before but it didn't come out the way i want it so we're gonna give it another try so once i place the cap on my head i'm now going to be using my got to be spray just spray that around my forehead area basically where my hairline stops and i'll just you know spray that and then use my blow dry just to you know kind of um blow dry it so that it can be dry and i'm gonna do this maybe like twice just to make sure that it's proper done or properly done so now i'm just gonna cut off the part that i don't need so basically just cutting off the extra cap that i don't need at the front So once I finish doing that guys, I'm going to use some more got to be spray just at the front just to lay down the extra lace or no, the extra cap. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just clean my forehead, take away the extra got to be spray. And I'll be using my Born This Way foundation just to apply that on the cap just to make it look natural before I place the wig. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place the wig. But first I'm going to use my hot comb just to kind of like put all those little baby hair or any extra hair at the front backwards. And I'll be using my got to be glue to um, install this wig. I should have used my ghost bond guys, but I don't know where I put my ghost bond. So obviously I'm just going to use what I have. So I'm just going to apply that um, got to be glue just like, you know, near my basically on my forehead and where the cap stops and i'll just go ahead and use my blow dry just to kind of you know dry that down a bit um now i just go ahead and place the wig using my fingers to press it down and um yeah so then i'll just use my blow dry again So once I finish doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and tie the front of my head um, just to kind of lay down that lace and kind of melt it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and style the hair. I'll be using the olive oil mousse just to define the curls. I'm just literally going to go ahead and apply that on the wig just to, you know, get those curls to come back to life. But um, guys, I wasn't sure how I wanted it. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to have like hair coming to the front or if I wanted it all backwards. I wasn't sure how I wanted it, but um, yeah. So I just went ahead and play around with it and see what works and um i just go ahead and now try to do some baby hair because i didn't want the baby hair to be too thick um i just went ahead and pluck some out and i just used my scissors to cut it and then i just used my mousse and a bit of my got to be glue just to style my edges on my baby hair. 
so it's now time for the makeup guys i went off and did my eyebrows fam my eyebrows look so weird i don't know if one looks bigger than the other but we move <laughs> but so i'll be using the vitamin e skincare to moisturize my face and also i'll be using the Too faced um primer just to um you know prime my face and i'll now be using this um elf concealer just to kind of like you know put it in basically all my dark areas like under my eyes and stuff and i'll just go ahead and literally um you know blend that and then um i'll go ahead and now put my foundation at the top of it i'm using my um two face bone this way foundation with my anastasia beverly hill foundation and now i'll be using my bone this way concealer just to apply that in all the areas that i want to like highlight and then i'll go ahead and use my contour stick guys i feel like this contour stick is a bit too light it's too close to my skin i should have got like a darker one but i guess it all works out at the end because i'm going to be using my bronzer just to darken it a bit then i'll now just go ahead and start blending So once I finish blending that concealer, I'll now be using my Morphe concealer. This is lighter than the um, Born This Way concealer that I used earlier on just to, you know, brighten under my eyes. Leave that to sit a bit, then I'll just go ahead and start blending. Now I'm using my Beauty Blender just to kind of like, you know, make sure that everything is smooth, everything is in place, no like harsh lines or anything like that i'll be using the same beauty blender just to apply my setting powder just where i literally put the concealer basically just to you know set that concealer and i would also be using my bronzer just to also set that um contour so now we're going for the eyes um i'll be using my morphe eyeshadow palette i'll be using the black the dark brown and the light brown on this palette first of all we go and apply the black first then we use the um dark brown just to you know um blend that um black at the top just basically where my crease is so i'm just gonna go ahead and just blend that on my crease and blend it in together with the black just like at the top of my crease and then i go ahead and use the light brown just to put that just like at the top of the dark brown just to kind of blend all of that together and as you guys can see it looks flawless <laughs> so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some you know some shimmer or should i say add some glitter or some shimmery glitter green look i just wanted it to look a bit different because i feel like i always do that color as well so i just wanted it to look a bit more different so i now go ahead and do my lips first i did my liner then i put my lipstick then now i put my lip gloss that's it really for this look guys so now i'm going to go ahead and use my powder from uh, mark guys i love this powder it's like a setting powder as well and i just literally put that under my eye just to brighten up my eyes a bit more and yeah guys i'm in love so i'm not gonna go ahead and finish styling my hair and come back chale this is a whole look guys i love it the hair came out so nice i love the curls i love the length the lace is not the best but you know i try to work with what i have but um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment below don't forget to like this video and also subscribe guys keep supporting me but um yes yeah, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really love the makeup look as well let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in another video bye